Poultry farming is a very lucrative venture and as well as poultry farming only if you take it as a, as a business venture and on today's video we'll be tackling of, we'll be tackling of a budget of rearing 500 broilers uh, broiler budget for 2024 500 chicken uh, budget broiler budget 2024 uh, what is the cost of, uh, of rearing a chick? What is the cost of uh, uh, production of one uh, broiler chick from day old to maturity? That is what we'll delve in in the video right, uh, right now. Don't forget to like, share, comment, share with other potential farmers as we invest in poultry farming in 2024. What is the cost of chick as day old chick? Uh, basically, right now the cost of a uh, chick goes between uh, around 90 to 100 shillings, depending on the uh, on the company source. Let's talk of 95 shillings being in the new middle. Uh, 95 shillings times 500. What is the cost? With that, you'll be able to get. You'll have. You'll have a. Uh, a tentative, a tentative budget uh, on the number on the uh, on the cash that you need to, to outsource to outsource the chicks. Get forty seven five hundred shillings with 47,500 47, uh, 47, Kenyan shillings. You are able to purchase and outsource day old chicks from companies like Ken Chick Isinia, just to name but a few. Where they have day old broiler chicks and they are cost differ with companies. Now, uh, when you have this, uh, and we're having it uh, we, uh, from from the budget, we'll we'll check on cost per chick. Uh, cost per chick. Uh, feeds. They want drugs and vaccines. In the in the budget uh, they want drugs and vaccines. Uh, and from the first part we've Tackled the cost per chick. Let's go to day one drugs, which will come second year. Day one drugs. This chick, this chick tends to have come from far, and uh, and you tend to find it will need some. It will need some glucose. Glucose is an instant energy. Only that you just give it for one day. You need some vitamins as anti stress. You give it for five days. You need probiotics, phytobiotics, which you give uh, probiotics. You'll give for 14 days. And when you do that, when you incorporate all this, your birds will give them the first kick, which is usually very paramount. Now, what of the vaccines? The vaccines, there are, are quite a number of vaccines which you give, uh, which you administer to your flock, depending on the company and the area of, uh, or the location you you are administering. You you have outsourced your chicks. And uh, maybe to work on that, you need to liaise with your local vet to who will give you a vaccination schedule for the different kinds of birds that you want to rear. For the, uh, on, and on this particular case, we are talking of broilers. Now, what of the, uh, what of the feeds, which is the, our next, our next uh, point. About the cost of the glucose, and uh, the day one drugs, they differ with companies. They differ among companies, but they reach uh, with, with the fact of uh, us working with 500 baht. They range between uh, 
500 shillings or they are bought for the antibiotics for uh, for the for the vitamins for the probiotics for the phytobiotics they range around 500 shillings which you will give the dose which will be enough for your chicken now uh, let's talk of feeds A uh, broiler batch starts with the food called with a batch called the, the broiler starter. Which comes in the form of mash or crumbs. What is the cost uh, uh, for 500 bucks? They tend to, uh, uh, the broiler crumbs are, are achieved, they, they consume from day one to three weeks. Uh, it will consume the broiler starter. And at, at that age, each chick will consume one kg for the three weeks. It might vary depending on, uh, on, on the company, on the quality of feed, but let's work with the worst case scenario. One, one, bird, one broiler bird for the first three weeks of life will consume one kg of food of the broiler starter, comes on marsh. So one kg times 500, that is 500 kgs. Uh, the standard, the the, mark, the package size is usually goes by 50 kg. It's packed in a 50 kg bag. So you will need 10 bags of uh, broiler starter crumbs for the first three weeks of life of this of your broiler uh, of your broiler chick. Don't forget to like, share, and comment share with other potential or maybe poultry enthusiasts. A bag of a uh, broiler starter as, it, as of now goes for 4,200 shillings. So you will need uh, 10 bags for the first three weeks. So you need 42,000 Kenyan shillings. I'm sorry. You need 42,000 Kenyan shillings to raise your broiler starter for the first three weeks of life. For the second batch of feed you give is called a uh, broiler finisher. The first three weeks of life we talked of uh, uh, this bird consuming the broiler starter. And on the second batch, which is three weeks of life, each bird uh, three, uh, they, uh, the first three weeks broiler starter and uh, number two uh, the second three weeks a uh, broiler finisher which also come in form of mash or uh, pellets. A broiler should be harvested not more than three weeks. Over three weeks you are out of business. But if you happen to harvest them early enough, the more money you make, the more faster you get to the market and more the faster the more you'll smile all the way to the bank. If you can harvest your bird at four weeks, you tend to you have double profit. The food you, the feed that your chicken will have consumed in the fifth week, sixth week, the labor, the water, the everything, the vet visit, I lamb of vet care, uh, vet mwangi of lamb of vet care, poultry department, are cost. And if you happen to harvest your birds earlier, you tend to get more returns. So, for the broiler finisher. Uh, it, uh, from now is on the next three weeks. The next batch is on uh, three weeks. Each bird will consume three kgs. Uh, each bird 
we consume 3 kgs and remember quality of feed will determine the, the amount of feeds your birds will consume the quality and the time of harvest 3 kgs so for 3 kgs times 500 you will need 1500 kgs it is packed in 50 kgs so that birds will consume 30 bags 30 bags of uh, of three of the broiler finisher of the broiler finisher of the broiler finisher batch a bag right now goes for 4000 shillings so times 30 that's 120. 12 120000 one twenty thousand. Uh, you need your you need one hundred and twenty thousand to to feed your birds for the broiler finisher batch, and by that you'll have uh, made uh, you'll have harvested your birds. But where is the money at in broiler farming? If only you harvest your birds earlier than. Uh, you harvest your birds earlier. You take, uh, you minimize on cost. You minimize on uh, uh, a, a health issues. Having at most biosecurity measures. Having a vet uh, visit your farm and he can uh, see all spot diseases or maybe conditions that may might come to your farm. Now, what are some of the miscellaneous costs that you act, that you expect in in a poultry house? Miscellaneous cost. The drinkers, feeders, labor, your farm hand, the vet visits, the structure itself. When you have, when you incorporate this, uh, some of these, the e bills, water bills, when you have all this, uh, these are some of the miscellaneous costs you might undergo. You tend to undergo when you are rearing your uh, your broiler, and uh, when you tend to deduct this from your operational cost after this the harvest you tend to get uh, your profit remember you can even harvest your bird at 28 days at 1.87 kgs at 1.87 kgs that's to mean uh, you tend to have your market uh, your market at uh, wow, one You tend to to get your to your market at 1.4, 1.4 kg, 1.35, 1.35 kgs, which will uh, make you tend to smile all the way to the bank. 1.35 kgs. If you happen to attain a 1.87 kgs at 28 days that's where money is because you'll have saved on time you'll have saved on feeds from the 28th day to the 6th day you'll have saved on labor on water don't forget to like share comment uh, you can visit our website at www.lamovetcare.co.ke we can uh, there's there are ebooks you might uh, you if you might need ebooks if you might need a direct session with us, engage us. 
Our contacts are in the description below. And see you in our next video.